You're listening to the Craig Proctor Real Estate Show. Each week, I'm going to be interviewing top realtors from coast to coast to give you a backstage pass on how they've created their amazing real estate empires and how you can copy them. Hi, everyone. This is real estate coach Craig Proctor, and welcome to the Craig Proctor Real Estate Show. Today, we're going to talk about all things real estate how to make money, how to have a great time every day when you wake up as a real estate agent, how to generate leads, how to convert the leads, and how to someday have a successful team so you can enjoy your life while continuing to make money. To help me uh, with this uh, topic here today is one of my superstars, Gary Overbeek in Woodstock, Ontario. Gary, welcome to the Craig Proctor Show. Thank you, Craig. Hey, uh, we were talking before we got started about a nice family vacation you're going to go on. Uh, that's the great thing about uh, having your business set up in the proper way is uh, you get to make a lot of money. You get to do the parts of this business that you really, really enjoy. But you're able to carve out time for you and your family and and do things that uh, you want to do on, on your time frame. Uh, so it's a pretty good business that we're in. Honestly, it's um, it, it's uh, it's been great watching you and and working with you. And I've got to say, when I look at your pro, pro, uh, promotional materials, everything is first class. So um, how long have you been uh, with me now as a Craig Proctor member? I think we're going on six years, six or seven years. Six years. Now, how did we first meet? Well, it was in Toronto. And um, yeah, so I, I had a, a hernia operation. And while I was there, my, my broker of record at the brokerage I was working with bought me a three-day um, seminar. Oh, I think I, I think, remember this. You, you begrudgingly came to the seminar. You're like, that's oh my right. God, the broker wants me to go hear this boring Craig Proctor. So you showed up and you, and you actually liked it, right? So uh, what, um, what did you pick up from that conference? I mean, you're here with me six years later. Uh, that's really when you became familiar with what this is all about. Yeah. So I've been in sales all my life. And the first thing, so you go to these hoop hoop hurrah things, these motivational speakers. The very first thing that I noticed when I walked into your seminar was I sat at the back of the room and I'm like, this guy, this is all very different than what I was used to looking at, what I was used to uh, going to. Right. And one of the biggest things was for me was that you were actually an experienced real estate agent that was sharing his success, like the real deal. It was like, you knew what you were talking about. I'm like, this is different. How, how about that? Let's just stop there, folks. How about that? That uh, you, we've got a real estate coach here that actually successfully sold real estate. <laughs> uh, I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but uh, as we know, Gary, that is usually not the case. Most of these experts and gurus have actually never made millions of dollars doing what they're doing. Uh, okay, so... Um, uh, it's funny because when you know you were thinking, well, this is some kind of motivational conference, and um, I don't know. Uh, my conference is almost like demotivational because it's not about motivation; it's about systems and how you do this. Um, it's not about you know um, rah rah or any of that. It's it's basically me saying, here's how I did this, and here's how uh, what I've shared with uh, thousands of other agents, and you got to meet them all, which I think gives a lot of credibility to this. You got to meet all these other, is this true? Is this true? Is this really work? Um, but the important thing is you you go back home and you do it. Yeah, that's what, what I think. The, the good thing with your conference was, look, it is, <laughs> it is so successful that it's sort of a take it or leave it approach. And, you know, if, if someone does not do it, it's just their loss, right? Uh, I am pretty cut and dry with my approach, right? Like I don't, I don't leave a lot of, uh, uh, room for error. It's basically like, this is how we're going to generate leads and it's how we're going to convert leads. Where I, I find a lot of uh, trainers are like, well, you know, today we're going to talk about cold calling, but you know, if, if you want to do FISBOs or open houses, that's okay. We have a very specific approach here in Craig Proctor world and uh, it could, because it works, right? And I be, would be doing my members a great disservice to say anything other than the truth about the best practices and how this works. When you started with me, where was your real estate business at compared to where it is today? Uh, probably 20%. 20%. So you were skating 20%. by, you were, you were making a living at it. 
Uh, was it just you at the time or did you have anyone helping you? No, nope, it was just me at the time. Um, I was selling, I was actually doing pretty darn good for a new real estate agent. Maybe uh, my first two years was, you know, 20, 30 transactions, making a couple hundred thousand dollars, which, you know, hey, that's pretty good, right? Um, when I first saw your conference and these guys selling over a hundred homes, I'm like, how's this even possible? Well, within, I would say joining, I would say two years later, three, maybe three, I was selling over a hundred homes a year. Well, you've, you're a natural salesperson. I mean, the first time I met you, um, I knew, well, here's a guy that, that can sell. Um, you just needed a system for finding people to sell to. That is correct. Right. And, and so, uh, you know, you've been able to organize your business now where um, there are no cold calls, no door knocking, uh, none of the traditional stuff. You're using Craig Proctor attraction marketing to the point where you've got so much business coming at you. I mean, listing appointments and buyer appointments that you couldn't go out on all the listing appointments. You couldn't work with all the buyers. No, that's correct. And, and I think one of the biggest things that I learned uh, was the quality, the quality of how to generate more commission and to actually do more for the clients. So when I started implementing your stuff, um, very quickly, I learned that, you know, average agent around here is uh, running around trying to list homes for three, four percent while we're averaging five and six percent. So I, I got to list one home while every other agent's listing, let's say two homes, yeah, same good, kind of money. Good point. And um, you're able to get a higher fee because you offer the clients a uh, much, uh, much better experience and not just experience, better results is what I should say, um, where it's not actually costing the client more money to use you. They're actually making more money net in their pocket uh, because of all the additional services and programs that you offer. And for those of you watching this for the first time, you might be thinking, well, that's BS. Like, um, how do you do that? How do you how do you actually negotiate a higher fee? I want everyone to think about this. Outside of real estate, if you wanted an architect, you'd be willing to pay more money if you wanted the best architect in town or if you wanted the best uh, contractor, whatever, that you'd, you'd pay more uh, for the person that's going to do the best job. It's the same thing in real estate. We're led to believe that, you know, um, you know, the, you, your commission is uh, is uh, really set by what the other agents are are asking uh, or getting, and it's absolutely not true. Um, your business now, your role inside of it, and it is a business. I want everyone to to make that distinction. It used to be so when Gary first met me, it was he was a solo agent. That's called a job, right? So. Um, Gary, uh, you know, sign not need to be banged in. Gary's banging the sign in, getting the keys cut, making the feature sheet. Everything that needed to be done was done by Gary. Today, that's very different, right? So um, explain the organization of your team and what kind of rainmaker activities you're involved in and what gets delegated to everybody else. Uh, yeah, so pretty much everything gets delegated to everybody else. So we have the buyer agents on my team, of course, where all the appointments for the buyers are going. They're out there showing the homes. Um, I have a full marketing staff on board as well right now. So she does all the feature sheets and marketing of the home. She runs social media. Um, I basically, for myself, um, I, of course, mentor and train uh, every, every week. We have our weekly meetings with the agents um, and, you know, sharing with them how to, to do the listing presentation, the buyer presentation, they offer the value to our clients. And then working with marketing and administration in terms of getting getting the work done. So if I, I still do a lot of the listings myself, right? So um, to also be able to prove to the agents that, hey, look, I just got a listing here at 5 6%. It is achievable. And this is how you do it. Um, sometimes the listing agents and the buyer agents will go with me on appointments and kind of shadow me and see how it's done. Um, one of the things that I will do is basically once the appointment's set for a listing i go get the listing signed takes me an hour and then my team takes over from there so after that everything else just kind of gets done yep and that's exactly how i did it a couple uh gems there first of all uh you lead by example okay uh, and you're cherry picking uh the best listings and you're delegating the overflow uh to your outside sales agent so an outside sales agent just a licensed agent uh, that that goes out on the listing appointments and the buyer appointments that that Gary chooses not to go on. 
Um, now, if you're in Woodstock, Ontario, anywhere in Gary Overbeek's uh, geographical area, I want you guys to all to be open to having a conversation with Gary, because honestly, this is how sweet your life could look like. Uh, Gary's uh, invested in me uh, for six years. I hope he stays with me forever because he's a great guy. Uh, he is a really nice guy. He cares about you. And this is how the deal would work. Anybody that partners up with Gary isn't getting leads. You're actually getting listing appointments handed to you on a silver platter and buyer appointments that have been qualified. These aren't just crummy leads that you buy. These are actual listing appointments and buyer appointments. Now, I know the skeptics are like, well, why would he do that? Why wouldn't he just go out on the mall? Why would he want to split that income? Here's the answer, because he can't go out on the mall. Now, you may be skeptical, well, that's not true. Well, if you're selling 100 homes a year or plus, you get to a point at some point when you can't physically go out on all the listing appointments. So when I got Gary to that point, or Gary got himself to that point, he had two choices. Gary's like, well, I could just do as much as I can, work like a maniac seven days a week, and some of these sellers and buyers that I can't get to, that business would fall off the table and I get nothing. Or I could mentor, I could bring in some selling partners. Uh, I will spend my time, and Gary says, I'll, I'll spend my time teaching them what Craig taught me and we'll mentor these agents and they're going to go get a part of the commission and have no expenses and not do any of the work that doesn't make money. So what do I mean by that? You're an outside, you're an agent, and you're thinking right now, well, I don't want to lose my identity. Well, hang on a minute. Um, how about, do you want to make money and do you want to have more freedom? Because that's what we're talking about here. If you partner up with Gary, this is what you would not be doing. You wouldn't be getting keys cut, taking pictures, installing key boxes, running around doing paperwork. All that would be taken off uh, your plate. Gary has administrative people that take care of all of that. You literally would just go from listing appointment to listing appointment to listing appointment. Now, Gary's not going to hire just anybody for this because he wants agents that are coachable, trainable. He's He will spend an enormous amount of time coaching you and training you because he needs you to come back with the listing signed, not a story. Okay, We don't want a story. We don't want an excuse. We don't want a 4% commission. We want to get the listing signed. So that's what's in it for you is you would make more money, I promise you, net in your pocket than whatever you're making now. Now, you may say, well, Craig, how can you say that? You don't even know who I am. You want to make a couple hundred grand in your pocket? You're the right person. You you call Gary and you say, hey, uh, let's have a conversation. Now, if you're not in Gary's marketplace, you're not in Woodstock, Ontario, and you want to learn how Gary has done this, you're going to contact me and you're going to say, well, I want to be like Gary. I'm not in Gary's marketplace, but I want to do this anywhere else in the United States or Canada. You're going to go to proctorcall.com. Okay. You're going to set an appointment. It won't be me. It'll be one of my team members. And they'll explain how the whole thing works, right? They'll ask you a bunch of questions. Where are you now? What do you want to do? What's holding you back? Blah, blah, blah. And we would give you some free advice. We not try to sell you anything. We're just going to give you our advice. If you like our advice, you may want to hire us, just like Gary did. You see, uh, Gary just didn't hire me and hang around for a week or six weeks. He's been here for six years. My goal is to create lifelong clients. Now, Gary, you know, being to our conferences, it's not unusual for you to meet a Craig Proctor member. It's been, oh yeah, I've been with Craig for 10 years or 15 years or 20 years or coming up some of them 25 years. Let's talk about the networking benefit to you so it's not just me. Um, a lot of the value in this relationship are the other Craig Proctor superstars that you get to become friends with uh, that have had all the challenges that you've had, right? Some of them are, are um, you know, a, a ahead of you up here and, and you're trying to figure out how they did it. Some of them are upcoming, right? And they're like, well, uh, Gary, uh, I'm selling 50 homes. How are you doing uh, over 100? Talk about those relationships and how important they've been to you. Yeah, you know what? I think that I'm hearing from a lot of other real estate agents and they go to these uh, other conventions. You always talk, you always hear about the referral network, right? 
Well, just as a side note, I had uh, <laughs> some of your stuff was so good that I actually had a Century 21 <laughs> office call me with a referral because they seen how good of a job we were doing in our area. But anyway, so they always talk about referrals and everybody goes to these things and they start sharing referrals and they say, yeah, you know what, if I've got somebody moving here and um, vice versa, we're going to go back and forth. That is also huge in the Craig Proctor. I mean, I've done referrals with everybody uh, all over the country and that is huge. But I think that the, one of the other most important things is when I go to a conference and I start meeting with some of these other top agents and I have questions in my business, you know, how am I, you know, how can I tweak this and how can I tweak this? The, the, the fact that they have kind of uh, mastered it and something that's working really well for them, they're so willing to share with me. And so I probably pick up 50% from obviously you guys speaking but also 50% from just talking to these top agents and, and having them share me, you know, listing presentations. It actually, it's worked out so well that the last conference I was at, we, I think you did my listing presentation on, on screen, uh, on stage. And so then we have other agents where I was at 1.6 to eight years ago. And they're saying, Gary, can we have your listing presentation? I probably forwarded, I don't know how many listing presentations, a copy of mine to all of your members which, you know, they can take and say, okay, I've tweaked this listing presentation over six to eight years, made it work for, you know, mastered it. And that's what I think I've gotten from a lot of your members was the amount of the wealth of information, but not just, hey, here's this, here's something that actually works. And I take it home, I implement it and boom, it's right there. I mean, one of the, one of the key things too, for example, was my, um, Francois McQuay, right, out of uh, Quebec there, I think, or Montreal, talking to him one time, and he gave me the uh, commission packages sheet that that was created. Well, I implemented that into my listing presentation, and by Georgia, I started getting, you know, hey, commission went up from there, right? The people saw the value. That one little nugget that I picked up from that has increased my business huge. So, that's the importance, I think, of going to the conferences and, 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 and what the other members, they're just like, they're so willing to invest in our success, which, yeah, that's unheard of in our industry. Yeah, great shares. Uh, anybody that's been involved in any other kind of coaching or even franchise seminars, when they come to ours, they're like, wow, uh, the people are amazing. They're great shares and they're all super successful. Um, now, some of the people come to me rarely and they're already successful. Uh, and I want to make this point. Uh, most of the real estate agents that come to me, uh, come to me where you were. You know, you're making a hundred grand, you're making a, a living, or some agents are, um, you know, really struggling and um, actually uh, in debt uh, when they come to me. So I'm really proud of the fact that we have created more millionaire agents here than any other coach or trainer. And I think that's why we have such a loyalty is we brought people from, you know, uh, where they were to to great places. And what I've noticed in you is, um, you know, like just how you've got more confidence as a person, like you've grown as a, a, a person. So it's not just the financial benefits, but your paradigm, the way you think and what you believe in now is much different than when we met six years ago. Absolutely. Maybe you can give us some examples of how you think now thoughts that you have now versus maybe limiting beliefs you had back then. Yeah. Okay. So what, what, what I had back then was the grind, right? You just get up every day, you grind, you work, you, and, and one of the things was, well, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm selling more real estate, but I really have zero time for my family, my, my, my life. I'm just constantly go, go, go. And it's like, how do I sustain this for the rest of my life? And so when I met with you guys and, you know, you started sharing how to do, you know, implement these systems to create this, this, this more of a better paradigm. And you, you, when I come to the conferences and I really want to stress this because I've never seen this before is the amount of caring and sharing. And it's not, you know, you're just not there to say, Gary, I want your, I want your membership for next year. You actually care about our success. And I think that's really rubbed off on us now too, is, you know, even going to listing presentations or homeowners, 
I walk in totally different. I walk in caring a lot more about them and what's best for them. Um, looking at, you know, my employees, my agents that are coming on board the team. It's like, listen, you know, setting themselves, setting them up for success so that they can stay in real estate for the rest of their lives. I mean, we see it all the time, right? Agents, even if they do really well, they get five, six years and they're just burned out. I'm like, okay, that's not sustainable. So giving back, um, you taught me, you know, Gary, it's important in your business to give back to a worthy cause. You know, we've been, we've been uh, supporting Ronald McDonald house ever since I met you. And we go there, we, we, we are in the house, we sponsor rooms, we share dinners. We, we hear the, the, the stories that come out of that house. That is actually what the true satisfaction is. It's, you know, and, and you don't want to sound cocky, but eventually money doesn't really, I mean, obviously we're all doing this to make money and to make a living, but when you, when you make a lot of it, it's like, okay, now I got to give back to the community and care about others. And I think that's what you really taught me too, Craig was, Hey, you know what? It's not just Gary Overbeek walking out there. There's other people out there who need help as well. So, you know, taking the mentorship from you, I pass that right along to my, to my people and to the people I meet and, and not just in real estate, everyday walk of life. Yeah, you, you get to impact so many people. You get to impact your customers. You get to impact everyone that works at your real estate company and their families. And what you said a minute ago is, is so true. And you and I get this because in the beginning, when you get into real estate, it's all about, I need to make money. And I get that for all of us, anyone watching this who's struggling right now, and you hear Gary and I say, well, it's not about the money. Uh, you, you, that's where we want to get to is a point where it's just not all about the money. But I got to say, in the beginning, uh, it was all about survival, right? When I got into real estate, when Gary got we, we're like, okay, we're going to do whatever it takes, you know, seven days a week. Uh, we, we've got we've to make money to survive. But when these financial needs get met, okay, at some point, it, uh, I want everyone to understand, it, it is no longer just about the money. Now, I'm not saying that we operate as a charity here or anything like that, uh, the money becomes more of the scorecard, right? Uh, it's like, you know, if you play uh, golf and you, you don't keep score, it's not as much fun, right? So the number of homes, uh, what Gary gets to do every single day, he likes it. And as soon as you love what you do, it's very hard to distinguish between work and play. And I think that's what everyone wants. We want to be in a situation where it's not a grind, uh, that you're getting up every day and you're doing high level, um, high level activities, okay? So Gary gets to spend his time now working on marketing, uh, training and coaching his people, recruiting, hiring, really the stuff he loves. And uh, what you don't have to do anymore is all the things you don't like to do. Uh, you, can, you can delegate that. Um, so you you end up kind of moving up the ladder in your thoughts and and what you do and uh, most importantly what you no longer have to do. So I I notice this change as I'm working with uh, with real estate members for years and years. Like six years has elapsed before I met you. So I I get to see how you've uh, basically you know grown as a person and a business person. And uh, there's a bright future here, uh, but you're going to need more people. And that's why I'm endorsing you here on, on our call today, because if you're still watching this, folks, this means it's making sense, right? Like you would have um, you, you would have turned us off right now. But if you're still watching this, it means you're a real estate agent. And it means what Gary and I are talking about is resonating with you. You've got a couple choices here. You can do the grind. You can do what they tell you to do when you get into real estate. That's what I did. That's what, get, I mean, who the hell was I to question it, right? Whatever they tell you to do, cold call, door knocks it in open houses. Um, that's what we're told to do. Um, By the way, I don't do any of that. <laughs> any of that now. Yeah, we don't have to do any of that anymore. Um, so if you're looking for a mentor who's actually successfully done this and um, has thousands of real estate agents that are successfully using an approach where they're using attraction, not cold calling. You've heard us talk quite a bit today on our interview about we don't do cold calling. So you might be thinking, well, what the hell do you do? Like, how do you get the clients? Well, we uh, use attraction marketing. 
Now, you might not understand what that means, but there are uh, very valuable things that buyers and sellers are looking for that they can't find on their own. And for many of you now, uh, and don't take this the wrong way, but if I was to look at your marketing, you're probably offering something that people really don't want. Or if they want what you're offering, they can get it themselves online. For example, if you're offering houses on MLS, well, any buyer today knows, well, I can just go to the internet and find that stuff, right? Um, we have this false belief that buyers and sellers are looking for a real estate agent. Uh, that's not true, okay? They're looking for a result. And in a seller's case, the result is they want to get their house sold. I mean, as real estate agents, we think, oh, they want to list their home. Nope, they don't want to list their home. One of the things that's working really well for us is just cash offers, right? We just The, the seller wants to get their home sold. Right? That's what they want. So if we're able to offer sellers, hey, uh, call us and your home will be sold instantly, and you don't have to go through months and months of showings, you don't have to go through the inconvenience and repairs and all that kind of stuff, that's very attractive to sellers. Now, of course, you're thinking right now, well, that would be great, but how does that work? Well, this is what we teach you how to do. For buyers, if we say to the buyer, oh, I'm going to email you the houses on the internet, they're like, yeah, I'm good. I don't I don't need an agent for that. If you say to the buyer, well, I, you should use me because I'm a great negotiator, a lot of the buyers today would say, well, I don't trust salespeople. I'm just going to call the listing agent. I'll probably save more money that way without you, right? So what do we offer buyers? Well, we have to offer buyers homes that they can't find on their own. Okay, so we teach you how to find these great deals that buyers really, really want, and they can't get these great deals on the internet, and they can't get these great deals by speaking to any other agent. So what are the great deals? Homes that are gonna go up for sale that are not listed yet. Distress sales, bank foreclosures, fixer-uppers, these are the types of offers that Gary would make. Another thing that we do is we guarantee pretty much everything we do for buyers and sellers, which completely sets us apart from the other agents that all claim to you know, promise to do a great job, but there is no um, actual teeth um, to what they offer. So Gary will say, uh, we'll sell your home or we'll buy it. Or if we sell you a home and you're not happy with that home, we'll buy the thing back. Or we guarantee to sell your home in X amount of days. And if that doesn't happen, we'll pay you $1,000. Now, this should garner interest in you folks. You should. The proper reaction here is not why this won't work or how your marketplace is different. Your proper response would be, I need to talk to Gary and Craig because I too am a good salesperson. I'm a nice person. You see, these things have always been true about Gary. He's a good guy. He's a nice guy. He cares about people and he's a good salesperson. But the, the challenge Gary had is he didn't have people to sell to. How many real estate agents in the United States and Canada are forced out of the business every year? Um, these are good agents. They care about people and they work hard and they know the rules and they're ethical but they're forced out of the business because they don't know how to get clients without doing the nasty things like cold calling and door knocking. So how do we get you a steady stream of buyers and sellers and then teach you how to do a great job once you get the, those leads and get them into listing appointments and buyer appointments and coach you up on how to negotiate your fee and do an excellent job. So each client sends you a whole bunch of other clients. And then like Gary, Gary's like, you know what? I'm good now. Um, my belief system is I'm going to give a percentage of every referral I get to the Ronald McDonald house. You know, pretty soon, Gary, you're going to be giving away more money than what you made when I met you. Think about yeah. that as a paradigm shift. If I had said that to you six years ago, I said, hey, Gary, I want you to think of all the money you made um, this year. This is six years ago, whatever that was, a hundred grand. Do you know, Gary, that someday in the future, you're going to be giving away more money to Ronald McDonald House than what you made this year, you wouldn't have believed it. No. And it feels good. Uh, and so uh, I would like to help everyone be in a position where you could give more money away than what you're making right now to your worthy cause, to what's Im important to you. Now, in the beginning, I get it. You're like, I don't want to give any of it away. 
That's right, because your mindset is you need it right now. I get that. But imagine getting above that. Imagine being beyond your own need for money where you're playing a game where every day, this is like Gary Overbeek Monopoly every single day, right? Um, Gary gets to play the game and it's his game. He gets to set the rules. He gets to decide how big he wants to make this. Now, uh, a side effect of all this is wherever Gary goes now in his community, they're like, oh, you're Gary. You're the real estate guy. When Gary gets to the, the seller's house, here's what happens. And it's kind of weird the first time it happens, but here's what happens. Oh my God, Gary, I can't believe you're actually in my house. You're a celebrity here. How many of you would like that? That when you show up, the seller actually can't believe you're in their house. Oh, Gary, I see you all over the place. I, I, I hear your radio car. I see you all over. Uh, I can't believe that you actually came here. That's when you know you got it going on. And it's a little weird, but I promise you, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll get over that. Now, you got to be careful how you drive and stuff when everyone in town knows you. You can't be cutting people off or anything. But Gary's a nice guy. Everyone knows who he is. And hey, uh, Gary, maybe one day uh, you'll be the mayor of Woodstock. Who knows, you know? <laughs> Uh, or the prime minister for that, for that, or the uh -oh. president, who knows? <laughs> um, so, um, Gary, we're looking for some uh, key people here uh, to join our, our cause. And uh, uh, let me repeat this again. If you are in Woodstock, you don't need to call Craig Proctor. Do not call Craig Proctor. If you're in Woodstock, everything that you want to do in real estate has been done by Gary uh, Overbeek. He's doing it right now. Okay, so you just need to have a conversation and the conversation will cost you zero dollars. Now, I get if you're one of his competitors, you might be like, I despise that guy. He's so successful. Um, look, set any uh, misconceptions or um, any beliefs you have, set them aside and make the phone call to Gary. Say, Gary, um, you know, uh, I'm over here. I'm in the other part of town. I work for another brokerage. Is it true? that I can make way more money net in my pocket and not do all the things I hate about real estate? Is that true? And if the answer is yes, how many of you on the surface would say it would be a good idea to partner up with Gary? Because saying the opposite is illogical. Are you telling me you're going to be in Gary's marketplace and continue to net less money and do and work harder and do a whole bunch of stuff you don't like doing? rather than just partnering up with Gary. Like, let's look at the big picture. That's illogical, right? So that's an emotional thing. Well, you know, I, I don't want to give up my identity. Guys, why are we in real estate? Money, freedom, time. That's what you get here. Now, if you're not in Woodstock, why don't you book a call with me? Proctorcall.com. What are you afraid of? Uh, confrontation? There'll be no confrontation. Uh, we're going to try to sell you something? Nope. Um. I don't have to try to sell you something. If you get this, you're going to want it. There'll be a spark inside a fire, maybe inside of you. It started with a spark, Gary, but then it turned into a huge fire. Great. And um, there's no taking this away. Gary gets this now. Okay. Uh, if I was to do an, a follow up interview, which we will do, but let's say we we're two years down the road from where we are today, Gary's going to be talking about how he's made it bigger, better. Um, he's um, impacted more lives and maybe you'll be one of those lives. So um, that's the picture here is how can we create a real business? You're either going to create a brokerage like Gary has created where you're going to have a lot of licensed agents and administrative people that are all going to do very, very well, or you've got to decide, do I want to be Gary Overbeek? Do I want to start my own super successful sales team? And do I want to be the, the team leader? I'm just saying, if you're in Woodstock, it's completely unnecessary. If I was a real estate agent in, in Woodstock right now, I wouldn't hesitate. Uh, and maybe anywhere in Southern Ontario, I mean, there's going to be some point, and I'm not sure if this is already happening, Gary, where you're going to start to expand beyond your marketplace. Gary could take this anywhere. You can just open up satellite offices over and over and over again. And so uh, that's the choice that Gary gets to make every day is like you can make it as big or small as you want. Um, let's talk about lead generation. Uh, which lead generation approaches are working the best for you right now? 
Okay, so I think that uh, in the last couple of years, real estate's obviously been booming. Now, what's happening to the market, right? Nobody can sell their homes. They all want big money. The market has completely changed. And so I think that um, people are going online and they're researching who can get the job done. And I think that what we've done over the last three, four years is setting ourselves up for this change in the market. And, you know, you look at your Google reviews, Google what you do on Google, your, your, whole, your whole business that we've set up online. So now when people are researching, they're reading the reviews, they're looking at your website, they're actually looking at what we are doing for marketing. What is it that he is going to do to sell the home? I actually just got a listing last week. I was up against three other agents and, you know, um, everybody's at 4%. I show them what we do, but I almost don't have to because I already can sense that they've researched me. They've already hired me before I kind of walked in the door. And once you find that out, boom, you get your, you get your commission and, and the results are right away there. So lead generation, I'm going to say is something that you have to start working on your business today to set up for the future. Uh, one of the things that works really well for us is referrals and repeats. Uh, we our referral network that we've, we've got going on for us. Uh, I, I think is, is because they're really qualified leads, right? When I get a referral and somebody says, Hey, you know, I was at, a, at an appointment this morning before we started the show here. And um, I think it was a nephew or a cousin or whatever. They said to me, yeah, you know what? So-and-so referred you and you start talking to them and uh, you know, they've probably, everybody meets usually with a couple of different agents, right? They want a couple of different opinions and they, sometimes they want to sure. go with a guy that, sells the sells gives them the highest price and you i got the feeling too same thing you know you're hired because of that referral and we reward the people who give us referrals not in a small way like we make sure they're well taken care of and the other thing that i i believe in too is if if someone's referring you obviously means that they were very happy with what you what you've given them so um our our particular what we've really focused on is a lot of organic lead generation. So referrals, repeat clients. We have a ton of repeat clients as well. And, and just what we do for them. Um, of course we do. Uh, what, what percentage of your business would you say is coming from referrals right now? Oh, it's, I would say 40 to 50%. Um, you know, uh, I did a um, half day seminar in Toronto. I think it was last week or the week before. Um, and I had Tony Johal uh, from, from Kitchener uh, presenting and he showed a slide where last year he made over a million dollars in referrals from, uh, with no ad spend at all. Um, so yeah, our, our top members uh, really do a, a great job of uh, of very being very purposeful, um, you know, uh, in in the, these systems to encourage uh, referrals. Um, so. Yeah, this is uh, th this is part of what we want to do is take one transaction and turn it into many, many transactions. Most agents don't have that mindset. It's like, get it sold, get it done, and then go cold calling and try to find another one where um, you're leveraging every transaction for four or five or 10 or more, creating these raving fans. Um, when the leads come in, so these are all inbound calls. And like you said a second ago, by the time you get there, you're pretty much pre-sold, which I think is all of us would agree that that's how people are choosing their real estate agents more or less today. It used to be, uh, well, um, I don't know who these people are. I've got to have them over to my house and interview them where you do such a great job on social media and online that as crazy as it sounds, a lot of these client or prospects feel like they know you before you show up. So um, yeah, it makes it easier because uh, they're already somewhat pre-sold. Uh, and some of them to the degree that you don't even have to do the listing presentation. You get to their house. So like, yeah, we're ready to list uh, and their tax bill um, and their survey sitting up in the kitchen table. So um, it's nice to get to, to that point where it's not uphill battle selling. Um, now, for the leads that come in where the buyers and sellers aren't ready to buy or sell right now, what happens with those? So depending on how it comes in, of course, but um the very first thing, and, and, and I think this was uh, one of your podcasts that uh, somebody, somebody was asking the question about our, our, our bomb presentation, you know, how does he send this to the client, this, that, and the other. And 
you know, if a lead comes in, obviously the most important thing is call back right away. Call back right away. And that's what we do. We have someone in the office, picks up the phone, calls them back right away. And we get over and over and over. Wow, you're the actually the only one who's called us back. And so calling back right away, having a conversation, then we qualify them, you know, hey, are you ready to make a move in three to six months? Um, get some information. Then the office will send them an, an actual email of the bomb, which is, is what we do for marketing. So they instantly have something in their inbox where they can look at. Now, I can guarantee you, Craig, that no other agent's doing that. So we, we should then, probably give some reference to what the bomb is. They're like, <laughs> uh, what do you mean Gary's sending a bomb over to them? Okay, so uh, back in 2004, uh, when we started the platinum level, uh, as a, it was a small mastermind group back then. We had like 40 uh, agents. They're all making over a million dollars a year. And so our project, um, our, our conversation became about what could we send a home seller uh, that was uh, like so comprehensive. It was, it would just blow them out of the water. Right. And then someone said, yeah, like, it's like we could just drop this bomb on them. So the bomb, as we uh, affectionately refer to it inside Craig Proctor Nation is, is a pre-listing package that could be emailed or uh, we used to send it in a physical box. It looked like a pizza box, which some of our members are still doing today. Uh, but it's it's such a comprehensive description of you and what you do and what makes you different and better that what we found are the seller prospects that received this bomb material were pretty much like, hey, Gary, uh, let's get down to business and list the house. They were pre-sold. So how many of you would like to have something like that, that on the strength of what you send the seller prospect, that they're so convinced by the time you get there uh, that they want to work with you and only you and commission's not even an issue. So that's what we're doing. As soon as it's you get a seller bomb. lead, it's like you're going you're gonna to drop the bomb on them. We're going to bomb them. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, so funny, funny story. So I'm, I'm, I'm with my agent at a listing presentation, my agent's uh, training, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm doing the presentation, this, that, and the other. And I wasn't sure if they got the bomb or not. So I have a hard copy with the pizza box sort of type of deal in my truck. And so I says to the agent besides me, I says, hey, listen, um, uh, I think there's a bomb in the truck. I said, can you go get it for me? <laughs> we, we, we used to have that at the airport, too. People coming into the conference would be flying in and, uh, uh, you know, they go through customs. What's that? Oh, that's the bomb, right? <laughs> so bomb. We got to stop saying that. Uh, so he, he goes and gets it. He comes yeah. back into the truck. And yeah. after we leave the appointment, he goes, Gary, did you see the face of your clients when you told them that to go get the bomb? So go get the bomb out of the truck. That's awesome. So you may want to say, you know what, it's marketing material. But anyway, we send them that. Um, th so they get that in their email. That's a pre preconceived conception of, okay, look, this guy does all this. We have it in Flipbox we, and, yep. then, and, and we have that material. So that's what gets them sent out. Then we get the appointment. And like I said, once we, once, once that appointment scored and they're qualified, there, there's so much material that we send them ahead of time that they're sort of pre-sold, right? We'll send them video links, um, we connect them to our social media so that they can right away see what we're doing on social medias, um, you know, uh, in, in pr um, videos of, hey, if we were to list your home, this is kind of what the videos we do to get your house on the market. So once the appointment comes in now, if it's a if it's someone who's six months out, we just sort of put them in queue and we will call them back in, I don't know, a month or so and see where they're at. OK, so you have team members that um, are they're their job is to follow up and nurture the leads. And yes. when the um, when the buyer seller is ready to act, uh, some of these appointments you will go out on, um, yeah. but some of them uh, will be handed out to your selling partners. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, and then you're doing this uh, weekly or almost like daily training with your uh, your outside sales agents and your inside sales agents. And of course, they all come to our conferences. We're trying to get everyone you know on the bus and trained to do it the best way possible. Obviously you've got a vested interest in them doing it the best way possible because every time, you know, more money they make, the more money you make and, and everybody's happy. Um, what have you learned along this journey? If you were to go back in a time machine to six years ago, when we first met, is there anything that you do differently, faster, different, better? Everything, <laughs> <laughs> everything legit. Um, yeah, no, I, I just think that 
I, I, I can't get over the fact, and I will say it over and over. I mean, I really obviously appreciate the systems that you've created and everything that we implement, everything that we do, it just gets better and better and better. And I'm not saying that because that's one of the good things, right? I have no vested interest in saying other than saying the truth here is that when we joined you guys, that this is a system we're really, uh, it's just, you do it and, and, and uh, I don't know, you know this, but maybe some of these guys that don't know this, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a school dropout, right? I never went to college. I never went to university. I didn't even finish high school. And so when you said it on your conference, copy and paste, copy and paste, if you know how to do that, you will just become successful. And I'm like, well, I think I can copy and paste. That well, I mean, that, that makes sense to me, Gary, because that's how I got through high school, copying and pasting. So, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but you know, I uh, I did get a high, my high school diploma. And I went to college for a year, uh, actually university for a year first, dropped out after the first year, uh, went to college for two years. I dropped out. And the only reason I got into real estate, because my dad was a real estate agent. So people joke around. It's like, well, so you're saying if your dad was a plumber, you'd be a plumber right now? Probably. I was yeah. one of those guys that I had no idea what I was going to do with the rest of my life. So it all worked out. I think the important um, uh, point, Gary, you're making is it's um, a lot of people have a paradigm, a, a belief that, well, you know, you can't be successful unless you've got a you know, you got a college degree or a university degree from a prestigious university. That's not true at all. Um, Gary's smart. He just needed uh, uh, to, to guide, uh, to channel his energy and his smartness into something that he understood and loved, which is sales. And unfortunately, when we get into real estate, there is no college or university on how to do this. I was um, interviewing, I did a podcast uh, a few days ago with uh, Barb Schlinker in Colorado Springs. And uh, as you know, Barb uh, was in the military and she has a commercial, she was a commercial airline pilot. And she said, you know, in all those years I was in the military and when I was a commercial airline pilot, there's like rules and checklists for everything, right? You don't just like jump in a plane and fly it. There's a flight plan, there's procedures, a checklist. She said, the crazy thing about when you get into real estate, there are no checklists. There's no how to do it. You take the license and then they slap you on the back. They say, oh, go get them, Gary. Uh, good luck with that, right? They never teach us how to actually get the clients. They teach us the rules and how to fill out the paperwork when we get a client. But we're totally unequipped for, well, how do I run a business or how do I get clients? So for me, um, this was an opportunity. You know, as a successful agent, um, I thought, you know, uh, there's a formula to how I'm doing this. And if I could just show other agents, uh, how to do what I've done, uh, you know, th this would be very helpful. And that's what I've been doing now for, for 30 years. So it's been, um, it's been great. Uh, it's been a privilege to be able to watch everybody grow and succeed. Uh, very cool job I have here, uh, which I love every day, or obviously I wouldn't be doing it. I also want to give away a little gift here for ever, all of you folks that made it to the end, because we're, we're running out of time. Uh, what I prepared for everyone, no cost at all, is a report on lead generation, which will give you a feel for how uh, Gary approaches his business, how all the Craig Proctor members use attraction marketing. So I'm gonna have Faith um, um, share that right now, Faith, if you could do a screen share. And we will give this to you. Um, it'll give you some insights to exactly what we're talking about on how you can actually generate qualified buyer leads um, you can request this by just uh, dropping your email address into the comments below. Okay, so how to generate qualified buyers. We kind of walk you through one of our strategies. This is just a gift to you. Hopefully you read it and you say, well, this makes total sense. So we have different marketing approaches for different types of target markets. I think this one talks about um, new construction and why new construction um, is a great target market. Lots of people want new homes and how uh, to attract people that want to buy new homes, which ironically, about 50% of them end up buying a resale, but you're going to get a commission check either way. So we show you how to negotiate this with the, the builders so you get paid a commission and um, how this one particular lead funnel works. Well, the truth is we've got dozens and dozens of lead funnels. So... Um, the nice thing about Craig Proctor Marketing is we get to track 
every penny that we spend on marketing and advertising. So um, Gary today could go look at all his advertising and he would know exactly what he spends every day, every week, every month. And he would know his ROI. He would know his return on investment, which is very helpful when you have advertising that's trackable because we can stop doing things that aren't working and we can turn up the volume on things that are working well so we can we can scale that up. Most real estate agents, if they do any marketing at all, it's lame. It's um, you know uh, self-image branding marketing where they're talking about how great they are, or how many years they're in real estate, or the fact that they want listings or they need listings, um, or you know if they're into golf, it's a picture of them next to their golf clubs. They got a dog, it's a picture of them and their dog. They don't really understand marketing and advertising. So if you don't understand marketing and advertising, it only leaves you with two other things that you can do. Uh, try to get referrals which usually the way they teach you to get referrals means you're begging for business because you're walking around saying to people, do you know anybody, you got anybody, you know anybody? So they don't really understand um, how to do the referral part in a way that makes them feel good, uh, that makes them feel like a beggar. So a lot of people don't like that. Therefore, they don't get as many referrals as they, they could be getting. And then, of course, the other thing is cold calling, prospecting, and talking to people that don't like you. Um, one problem we're having today, if you're cold calling, is no one's answering the phone anyway. So that's um, very depressing to have to call 100 people to get one person on the phone. That You want should, them to call you. Yeah, yeah, we want. That's the new call to action. Gary's absolutely right. The new call to action is 1,000% of the buyers and sellers need to be calling you. Now, let's turn that up to a point where you can't even work with them all. Okay, I hear so that. Yeah. Just a quick thing is some of the marketing that you're talking about here, some of the lead generation, the offers that you've taught me to make in this market. I mean, I, I can't speak for the States, but I'm assuming it's right across the board. The market sucks right now. Everybody's like, how do I sell my house? How do I sell my house? And how do I get listings? Right. The offers that you make are the most important in this market. Yesterday, I had a call from someone off the guaranteed sale program. He's listed with another agent. Well, they were, of course, everybody's unhappy with their agents right now. That's just normal. And I've got an appointment to go see this guy. Um, you know, um, he, this is what he said. We're going to, we're going to, we want to look at hiring you to sell our home. And if it doesn't sell, you can buy it. And I'm like, sure, no problem. Yep. You'll get calls every day. It's okay. How does this work? What work? This thing where you'll buy my home for cash. Well, uh, uh, when can we meet? Well, can't you just tell me over the phone how it works? Well, I can't tell you what I'm going to buy your home for without looking at it first. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Now you're sitting um, at the kitchen table with somebody that wants to sell. And we actually do offer this guarantee. I don't want anyone thinking, oh, well, that's just a bait and switch. Nope. Sellers love it. That's why the most successful real estate agents in North America are using the Craig Proctor Guaranteed Sale Program because it's something that buyers and sellers really, really love. Okay, we're running out of time here. Um Again, I, I want you to contact one of the two of us. Okay, if you're still watching, it means you're interested, right? Or you wouldn't be watching this right now. I don't think you guys are looking for something to do. If you're in Woodstock, you're going to contact Gary. And uh, Gary, what's the best way for people to reach you? You can ask directly on myself, 519-317-4922. Text me, call me. It's uh, all confidential anytime. And we'll drop Gary's uh, cell phone number into the comments below, just in case you didn't catch that. And the way to reach me is you're going to book a call. You're going to go to proctorcall.com. Okay. No space, proctorcall.com. So that's my name, proctorcall.com. When you get there, you're going to see my acuity day timer. And there'll be some spots that are open. You pick a spot, a day and a time that's going to work for you. And we're going to book out a half an hour and we're just going to have a conversation. That's all. Uh, not going to try to sell you anything. Not going to try to make you do anything you don't want to do. We're going to um, ask you a bunch of questions about where you are right now and where you'd like to go in, our, in your real estate business. Now, for free, we'll give you some ideas on how we'd approach that. Now, if you like our ideas way better than your ideas, if you think, well, this makes sense, or if you'd like to speak to hundreds of Craig Proctor members, not, you might not need to speak to hundreds, but if you like to speak to Craig Proctor members like Gary, we're happy to connect you. In fact, if you're not in Woodstock, 
and you want to contact Gary and say, okay, I'm in Chicago or I'm in uh, Vancouver. And I, is this real? Like this, uh, this is pretty encouraging. Um, you know, Gary, you're not like Craig's brother-in-law, right? This is real. Uh, feel free, uh, call Gary and we can give you the names of uh, lots of uh, Craig Proctor superstars to contact. So uh, Gary, final remarks before we wrap up this awesome interview. Final remarks. Um, hey, any any other agents out there that are that are looking to join you or or, or even myself? I, a little testimony. I have an agent on my team who got his license when he was about eighteen. Um, first and se- first year, I think he did over thirty. This year, he's he's twenty. He's uh, over thirty transactions for this year, and he's he's probably on track to do another fifteen to twenty transactions for this year. So this system by far works. That's my remarks. That's, that's the guy we got to get on the next interview. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> there you go. Uh, look, uh, uh, Gary, thanks so much uh, for, for being who you are and doing such a great job. You're, uh, you're an awesome advocate of the Craig Proctor system. Really appreciate you uh, taking the time to do the interview here today. Please let us know in comments, guys, uh, what you thought of today's interview. If you have any questions at all, uh, we will answer them. It might not be right now, but we'll get back to everybody and answer your questions. We've offered you a free report on lead generation. Uh, Feel welcome, drop your email address. We'll get that out to you. We're also gonna drop in uh, Gary's uh, contact information and my contact information. Heck, I'll even give everyone my email address. If you wanna email me directly, it's craig at craigproctor.com. We'd love to hear your comments and your feedback. And uh, I wanna thank everybody for taking the time to watch uh, this uh, episode of the Craig Proctor Real Estate Show. Gary, thanks again for doing this. Thank you, Craig. Have a wonderful day. Take care, everybody, and thank you for watching. Hi, this is Craig Proctor. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed that video. And listen, I've got a lot more information for you to help you grow your real estate business. You see, several times a week, I record new videos and I load them onto this YouTube channel. What I'd like you to do if you'd like to access them are two important things, and both are totally free. Number one is I'd like you to subscribe to this channel. You're going to see a little subscribe button for you to click on. And if you don't already have an account with YouTube, it's free for you to set it up. It's really easy. It's free, but you've got to subscribe to this channel. And the most important thing is to ring the little bell right next to the subscribe button. And that's going to let you know every time I load new money making videos to help you grow your real estate business. So make sure you subscribe right now. You ring the little bell and we'll see you on the next video.